We turn now to a darker side of the response to the Parkland shooting, something one of the students mentioned a moment ago. Hari Srinivasan explores the lies and conspiracy theories that are cropping up online. Our entire nation is praying for the victims and their families. The immediate response to the school shooting in Florida was a wave of prayers and condolences from around the country. Our first thoughts are with the families of those who are lost. What quickly followed? A flood of allegations and conspiracy theories about the students calling for gun reform. I just know that we are being fed something as phony as a $3 bill. Right-wing outlets like Gateway Pundit and Infowars and online trolls are promoting the false theory that some of the Parkland teens are actually paid actors. This is not acceptable. The target of many of these attacks is Stoneman Douglas Sr. David Hogg. He has been called an FBI plant who was coached by his father and a crisis actor after video surfaced of a California CBS story featuring Hogg from August. These people saying this is absolutely disturbing and I'm not an actor in any sense, way, shape or form. I'm somebody that had to witness this and live through this. Many of these false accounts came from extreme fringes of social media, but are now being amplified by better known voices. Conservative writer Dinesh D'Souza tweeted that one of the students interviewed by a British news program seemed coached and the president's son, Donald Trump Jr., has liked some of these conspiracy tweets. But on Tuesday, Florida Senator Marco Rubio tweeted the accusations against the students are, quote, the work of a disgusting group of idiots with no sense of decency. This is what our country has become. Other Republicans stayed away from conspiracy theories about the students, instead accusing Democrats and gun control advocates of using the students to push their agenda. Former Georgia Congressman Jack Kingston. Their sorrow can very easily be hijacked by left-wing groups but do you who think it have has an agenda. I, I, well, let's ask ourselves, do we really think that, and, and I say this sincerely, do we really think 17-year-olds on their own are going to plan a nationwide rally? Fox News anchor Tucker Carlson. But all of a sudden you're seeing these kids involved in calls for very specific pieces of legislation. And the allegation has been that they are in some way in contact with organized anti-gun groups. And people who have suggested that have been denounced as immoral and heartless and how dare you question these kids or attack them, which for the record, I am certainly not doing. Right. But I think it raises interesting questions about how we make our law. Stoneman Douglas students are pushing back against the attacks and criticisms. I interviewed Ryan Deitch over the weekend. I for one just think like, Ignore it, first off, because these people are not taking action. We are. We are taking action, and I don't care what a troll says. They are just hiding behind a computer. We're out there on the streets. We start fighting. Despite all the criticisms and false accusations, students still plan to march for gun control next month in Washington and around the country. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Hari Srinivasan.